So what we'll do is just kind of do some simple zones now, almost as if each of these are little suburbs. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if people drive through this. It's pretty. I'm I'm excited. It looks it looks like it turned out really well. And I think this idea with the roundabout is cool. Because what I've traditionally done is just like just kind of these guys going into just like this way, right? But the roundabout is neat because there's one extra little option here. The only downside, it does, does use up a lot of space, but I think this is going to be more more effective in the long run, so we'll, we'll see. Okay, so let's check where the wind is going. Okay, so that means we're going to do our industry in this suburb. And everything's just going to kind of feed off this main road. a neat little trick. Oh, actually, do we have a last loan? We do. Okay. So if you ever want to make sure that you can still fit um, kind of like the large buildings, just put in a um, just some parks like that. That way when you draw your curvies, you know there's going to be enough room to have the buildings come in. Never get that the way I want it to. I want it to curve more. Oh, it's just ridiculous. It's okay. I'm just gonna draw this now. And for over here, same kind of idea. That way you just know you've got enough room, and if I draw this a little bit too close, you know, I'm just not going to get the, the, the tall buildings out of it. So it's just like a cool little trick to save yourself some space. And... Let's just go this way. Oh, out of money. Okay, so we'll just we'll take out our last loan, and we'll spend this appropriately, and then we'll get the city started. So that's basically the industrial part of town, just kind of simply zoned. And let's do some. Basically, let's do one little offshoot for people to live in, just to kind of get the ball rolling. I'm keeping this side open because I might do some trains. That's why I didn't do right to the edge of the map. And 
Well, that's not where I wanted it, but that's okay. And then from here, I'll just draw. Because the grid spacing, once you have the roads laid out, gives you the right spacing. Okay, so what we'll do, just because, you know, obviously we're going to run out of money, is um, just zone it. And then once we get more people in, we'll start to build again. Just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to put some commercial there just for the moment. Although we'll actually make it a downtown before. zone down here for some people. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep these unzoned actually, just for traffic sake. There's our industrial park. And I feel like we should zone some more people, but I don't really want to use this avenue. Okay, well, we'll just start with this. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, and start the simulation. See how the traffic interacts with our uh, crazy roundabouts inspired interchange. First trucks are coming in. There's probably nothing too exciting until I guess some of these plots developed, but I don't know, people are coming in. And kind of cheating. Because remember I said like it's not one-way streets, so kinda have to use your imagination, but maybe it's the UK. We're driving on here we'll pretend there you go. <laughs> Okay, so my city's gonna go broke in like one hour, so. I need more people to move in here. Okay, good. Bought myself one extra hour. We should be okay now. We have to play that um, pause game. Oh, I hate when I do this. Okay, let me just start the video back up when, when we break even. One second. All right, we're back in business. I hate when that happens. Um, keep an eye on your finances. Oh, my goodness. Don't be irresponsible like me. Okay, just a little bit of a setback, but we're obviously back on track. You kind of see our highway, in air quotes, in action. I mean, really, the way the SimCity kind of like, I don't know, runs the agents now, you gotta think of it as like having multiple options. So instead of just having traffic bottleneck, even at every single intersection, you can just go two ways. So if you get here, it's too busy, keep on the roundabout, go this way. It's too busy again, they might even do a full loop again, you know? The goal is just to give the Sims options. So again, not really a highway in the traditional sense, but it looks badass, so. All right, let's continue here. Okay, give these guys some services. So there's some water. And we'll give them some power. And I usually start with the wind, um, although I don't keep it for the whole game. I find in the long run the wind to take up too much room. So I want to say like this is basically full, but it's almost like this doesn't really want to accept more people, you know? Like it's it's moving fast, but a lot of traffic for the very little amount of population that we have here. I 
Although I think all these people moving in is kind of playing part of that. You can kind of see what I was saying earlier though, right? With the Sims being able to take kind of two ways to get in. Okay, so let's build our commercial block up because there's a commercial demand. So let's get power first. with this is I'll probably just connect this over to the industrial part of town. But what we'll do just for the sake of traffic is I'm gonna change change that guy over. See if I can curve this in. Should be able to get that. And from here, I don't know if this is possible. And let's just curve this into the center. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different option. Okay, we'll get rid of all these because they probably have no power. Yeah. Let's just work on this commercial a little bit more, and then we'll clear everything out. So like, same general idea, I just want kind of like a line of just spacing, you know? And we'll have our first intersection, let's say... Oh, I can't really do that. Sure that there's enough room to still build on the inside. And we will see if we accomplish that. Okay, so I wanna actually Oh yeah, oodles of room. So I will move this one over. 